Hello YouTube, we are back and in today's video we are going to be looking at some more computer craft programs that I've made um, that are in it in themselves, so they're really useful um, and let's just get started <laughs> um, so first off we have a water path so what this does is it basically just goes across the at like uh, I don't know um, like some sort of like liquids or some sort of liquid um, it can also go over lava um, which is also really cool um, and it basically just makes a pathway um, that you can go across it um, and it also places like blocks either side of you so you don't actually get water into the pathway um, so let's just start it um, so we do water path and then there we go then it's going um, as you can see it's going pretty well um, and as you can see um, like the water sort of gets in there like um, when it's actually doing it but like it's it's not it's not it's not going to be there um, once it's finished um, because it's basically just clearing out any water sources that it runs into um, which I reckon is pretty awesome um, but yeah so let's just leave that um, working there and let's, let's just like um, show off another few programs um, and it, as you can see it's got a lot to go uh, but like all of its inventory is full of glass so hopefully it won't run out <laughs> um, but it shouldn't run out um, so let's like I'm gonna show off this one now next um, so this one is actually called um, uh, it's like something tree or tree something uh, let's just see uh, tree farm that's the one uh, so tree farm alright cool so as you can see it basically just um, gets every uh, a lot of trees um, in a line and they have to be spaced like one like pretty much like this so like one um, one tree and then a, a gap and then another tree and then a gap and then another tree and then so on but this can go on like forever if you like um, but then it will just like once it's done um, and we've got like a, a couple more trees to go um, or a few more trees to go um, it doesn't actually get all of the like the blocks because um, it like does a compare function or like a compare thing um, where it like just basically compares what it's got in its first slot um, to whatever's like above it or yeah whatever's above it and then it um and then it basically just says um if it's if it's the same thing then it um then it will like dig up and then do another bit and as you can see I forgot to place the chest there um that's another feature that I forgot about um <laughs> yeah I, I pretty much made these guys like all these um programs like pr like a long time ago um so that might be why I'm a bit rusty um but yeah so let's just uh do another one and as you can see the this guy is making a lot of progress here um but I think you get the idea of what he's gonna do um so yeah um, but this would be really useful if you're going like trying to go across like the the lava in the nether um, because that's like it can totally do that um, now this one is really cool uh, so what it's basically um, gonna do is it basically is like a one by one by like a one by one tree farm where it just uses bone meal from its inventory to grow the trees and then it basically just cuts them down afterwards um, and then at the end there's like something really cool um, but if we just let it go it, I only put four saplings in its inventory um, you can put as much as you like as long as you've got like enough bone, bone meal um, you can also have like the bone meal like up to like whatever you can have it like in these slots as well like like that um, and as you can see it's just ran out um, and let's just see what it does so it will just put its items in its image or in the chest there um, so all the bone meal <laughs> but then 
it says how much, like, of what the stats of its harvest were. Um, so it, ba it basically used 17 bone meal, and then it, uh, it chopped down four trees and then got uh, 20 lo 21 logs from them. So that's a really cool thing about it. Um, and I reckon it's like pretty useful to sort of like see if you're getting like a, a good income from it. <laughs> um, but let's just take a, another look at the this guy over here. Um, he's going, he's going well. Yeah, he's going good there. Um, now this one I'm pretty proud of as well. Um, so as you can see, you might already have guessed what it's going to do. Um, but <laughs> that's the program, so uh, if you haven't already guessed, then you probably don't watch Dial of 20. Um, but I watch him and I pretty much made this program um, just so it's easier to make 9x9s. Um, and he's just going to do it, his thing there. Um, and we'll pretty much like check on him as well as check on the water path guy. Um, and all of these programs will be in the description. So if you like any or like one of them in particular, then go ahead and um, just look at the, the paste bin in the description and then you can download it. And then also like you can just have it in your single player world, like I have it as well. Or even in your multiplayer world, because um, that would be pretty awesome. Uh, but up here we have another um, turtle. And I reckon this is a really like easy and pretty cool program. Uh, it basically works the same way um, or as like uh, the um, the farm program or, or the the other programs uh, like the sugar program that I showed in the earlier um, the earlier pro the like the earlier one the video I did about the computer craft programs. Um, so it basically is just modified. Um, but the it's basic, the program's called platform, and then it says how many blocks forward. So I'm gonna go for like ten, and then let's say like five or six. Let's say um, it doesn't really matter. And basically, it's just gonna do that. Um, as you can see, it's gonna go ten blocks, and then it's gonna go six blocks in this direction. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, this guy's making progress here, um, and I just miss like calculated how big this is actually going to be um, by facing the turtle in the wrong place. But that's easily fixed just with a um, a bit of dirt. Um, but yeah, let's just wait until this guy's finished, um, and also let's check on the um, water path. But as you can see, he's already done the the floor there. Um, that wasn't too hard, nor was uh, um, were the like the size here. Um, it was just basically me making like an eight long um, an eight long sort of panel here, and then just repeating that four times with it with like a little extra movements in between like the each each complete in each completed like side. Um, and then so that that's pretty it's pretty easy. Um, and like the the bottom here wasn't too hard either. Um, it was just like basically the same same old. Um, but yeah, let's just wait until this guy's finished, or like wait until he's he's like finished this side, and then the and then the part that I'm proud of. You might may have already seen it. Um, like the the he's got a bit of glass in his inventory, um, and that's a a massive clue. Um, so, uh, for the roof, <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that's, he's probably, he's, he's just gonna, um, do that, and while we just take a look at this guy, oh, there's a ravine here, <laughs> um, but as you can see, um, it, it, this, this happens basically when, um, he's trying to do that, or when he's trying to, um, make the water path, um, just because of the way of the way like water works and how it sort of flows, um, but yeah, it's, just, it's not really that big of a deal because it's only going to happen now when he's actually making it. 
um, and, and it's not going to happen any other time, which I reckon is pretty, pretty cool, uh, and is also like really useful for like just the lava, um, like just clearing out a ton of lava, well not really a ton, but like just clearing it out. Um, <laughs> I reckon that's really cool, but as you can see, um, the nine by nine guy <laughs> is doing the roof. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, that's pretty much what I'm proud of um, because like that, like that coding that um, was a pretty hard task to do. Um, and then he says, I have completed one nine by nine, which is pretty cool. And so, yeah, and also this guy's finished over up here. Um, and he's saying, done making the platform. And then this guy's saying, uh, I've done harvesting eight trees and then 35 logs. Um, so that's basically the same sort of thing as here. Um, I just didn't have the bone meal sort of variable. Um, but yeah, this guy's the only guy left um, to finish. <laughs> so he can like go down however much he, um, blocks you like or however much um, it needs to go down really um, because I mean like the the lakes or like the sort of the oceans if you like <laughs> if you're gonna actually do it that big or that big scale um, that they can be pretty much endless like um, amount of like water or like lava if you're in the nether um, and that's why I've made like a sort of a variable which pretty much adds one to um, whenever he moves down. Um, so that's how he knows how much to go back up and uh, um, that's pretty cool. I might like it's it's probably like um, uh, it's probably doable if he can if he like does a turtle dot detect up and then does that but I mean that's not really fun is it? So <laughs> yeah, um, so yeah, I, I might just end it off here. Um, you probably get the basic gist of what this guy's gonna do. He's probably he's just gonna go down the whole way down here, and then uh, just build up the glass um, back up, and then you will have like a water path. Um, so kind of like um, like the I don't know. Yeah, it's it's gonna be pretty cool. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, and it also can like handle like uh, small pools like this. Um, it can basically handle any size of a pool. Um, uh, but yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Rate, comment, and subscribe. And peace.